Hey, how's it going guys? I'm Paradoxic and welcome back to Doctor Who. This time we're on season 12, episode 3, titled Orphan 55. And uh, we ended off the uh, what the two part uh, premiere uh, episodes were last week with Spyfall Part 2. And we had a bit, a, a, bit, a bit more of a glance into what this season itself might actually be about. Since this season we actually might get an actual arc with the Doctor and, and, and the companions and um something for the series to actually follow um so a, like a more kind of perhaps like a more character wise and emotional kind of uh um perspective as to who the doctor is and what her past is like and especially something that'll be especially more dramatic for the companions to experience like you know the doctor is more than just a traveler she's had her fair share of victories and losses and dark moments and stuff so i feel like this season should be a good enough chance um for um, us as the viewers and also the companions to be able to experience that and we we had a bit of a glimpse into the timeless child um and it's what the the, the it's what the doctor the the, the doctor the, the master saw when he went back to Gallifrey he went back to Gallifrey um and he discovered that you know in he, he discovered that the, 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 apparently the the the, um, the 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 time lords had lied to him and the doctor and that in the, their existence as, as a whole was based off of the lie of the timeless child so um fair to say there's been a lot of speculation as to what the timeless child actually is and what it means for the for, for, for the master and the doctor and like why it set got the master so angry and we saw a bit of a glimpse i missed it because i looked i was taking down notes and stuff but then i did see it back through editing um but the timeless child we saw like a child kind of standing between like two pillars or like two like towers or something um don't don't know if it was Gallifrey because I mean Gallifrey is known for having its kind of red sky or burnt orange sky, so it wasn't. I mean, from from my mem from my own memory, it wasn't as much like burnt orange or anything as it was like purpley and red and stuff. So, um, the timeless child, like I mean, I guess off the top of my head, I'd say maybe it's what maybe it's like a child that like um didn't really like fall into in in line with what like time lords were like like it wasn't able to like predict or foresee time the same way that time lords do like you know like cause, like from the start the time lords have always been about the, the those particular people of Gallifrey watching over time and, and like observing events in time and like otherworldly affairs and like never interfering so maybe maybe the, the time of child has something to do with that or I, know, I mean, some people are thinking it might be River Song. I feel like that might be a bit too on the nose. But I mean, hey, they they brought the master back. They brought they brought the master back, so bringing River Song back. And I think um, she has a fair enough amount of time before the the, the before the the Derillium stuff ends, and she has to go meet the Tenth Doctor in the library. She has she has a bit of time before that, so surely we can have something with her and and, and Jodie's Doctor. That would be great to see. But whether or not it actually is uh, River Song and not someone else, we'll have to wait, 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 wait and see where where they take that. But yeah, so but but then he he went back and upon discovering the the the, the, the truth about the Time Lord's existence and the Timeless Child stuff, he destroyed Gallifrey. The Master destroyed Gallifrey. He I think uh, even at the end of the episode, even the Doctor went back to see if he was actually telling the truth, and he was. The um the Citadel was burned down and the, the glass shattered and everything was on fire and then he, he he did say that you know he he killed everyone like a, 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 everyone there was dead and like pretty much the planet was just a barren wasteland now um so gallifrey the planet itself is intact and it's still in its little bubble universe so the doctor could still go there but then there was nothing really to find there except for the ruins of gallifrey and you know like the people all gone now as well so yeah, the master, <laughs> the master didn't really hold back with his anger. He was angry at, at, at Gallifrey and at the Time Lords, and he went full force with that. He did not hold back. He took out his own people because he felt lied to. So I mean, I say he felt lied to because I, I don't know. I mean, because like we don't know what the Timeless Child is yet, and knowing the master, anything that he doesn't agree with could easily set him off. So if if it's something that like that that makes him feel not so special, special anymore, it could be that. I mean. Once the well, once once we find out what the timeless child is, chances are the doctor will find out too. So it'll be like a uh, like a way for her to process what's happening, and she, um, it would, I think that way we'll 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 be able to get the unbiased truth. Like he ne he never said what the timeless child was. He he said you know I would tell you you know what the timeless child is, but then you know that would be making easy that would be making it easy for you. So it wasn't easy for me. So I'm not going to give you the, the the privilege of you know having all the answers and everything. So. He's gonna leave her to find out um everything for herself. Um and 
then yeah, but uh, at the end of the, at the end of the episode, she did send him. She well, she she did kind of bait him out. He kind of revealed that his master plan didn't really involve um the Kasavin or even Barton anymore. So yeah, but um she um revealed that recording at the end and then baited him out to the Kasavin and then they saw him as an obstacle. Um, someone just using them for his for, for, for his own gain. So they sent that they took him back to his dimension. So. We'll, so we'll, we'll, we'll probably see him again soon. Satcha Duan's master is on point. He is spectacular. He's, he, he's just really, really awesome to watch on screen. He works well, re, re, really well with Jody's Doctor as well. So I really look forward to seeing him uh, popping up again. I think with this with, 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 with this stuff going on with the time of child and, and, and like, you know, more and more kind of, you know, history being like potentially unveiled with, 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 with the Time Lords as well, I think, you know, it would be a good thing to, to have Jody's doctor around with um Satcha's uh, master to have them both kind of working off of each other and then stuff like that. So yeah, um but it's it's great to have the master back this season as well. I think you know he's definitely he's de- I mean he's he's not he's not even borderline maniacal. He I think he's he's very much a lot more murderous and angry than we than we've ever known him to be. I think in the past, like I mean he's been happy to kill people that get in his way, but I think with this one, it's like. There's an and there's almost there's almost an like a, like a, an element of like madness to him that kind of kind of likens him to the Joker like like you know, some part of him like actively goes out killing because he likes it and stuff and he even said it you know like um you know killing all these people gives me a bit of a rush gives me, gives me a bit of a thrill um and in the past I think you know I mean I I can't speak for the for the classic two doctors because I haven't seen very much of them I, I saw Eric Roberts Doctor in the uh, eight, eighth Doctor movie but that was way too long ago. Um, but even like um, um, thing of a bibbly bobbly, um, John Sim, like his one, I think his one was a lot more kind of like a madman, like he wanted power and control and stuff like that over the earth. And there were occasions, I think two major occasions where he tried that. Um, Missy's doctor, I think she was just kind of really unapologetically evil and stuff. Um, so you know, I think she there 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 the, the, there was a part of her that you know like re- really wanted the, the the doctor to join her side as well and stuff like that. And she was willing to lie to get there. Um, but yeah, I think with Satcher's, I think I think that he he's he's like with, with Satcher's master, he's returned to that kind of you know a like trigger happy kind of self that he has, and like you know he's like you know he's um yeah like he 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 just seems happy to kill people. Like he he has the element of like like a, like it like it's easier to to like compare it to to, to the Joker's willingness and happiness of killing people and like getting away with it and stuff so yeah uh but i do i, I do hope we actually <clears throat> see him um at some point and um but yeah i think that's all for that stuff i think one thing that really struck out to me the last episode in particular was um the doctor actually opening up to her companions i'm, I'm kind of like rambling through this because again i'm watching the live thing so it's, it's like other shows are running and just leading up to the last few minutes before the episode actually airs so i've got a bit of time to do some rambling so i think it's, it's, it's not usual but actually you know um uh, and i also got a new camera so it's like it's um like the the the, the way I, I i can record now is different and much much better much much better hopefully the video quality translates in in that sense too but um <clears throat> but yeah so i mean the the doctor um like kind of opened up to the companions a lot more now i think in the past it's always been a thing where i think you know he he either opens up very very little and he opens up um he's a, like in the, in, in the past versions he he's opened up like very um very briefly and in in like in like in like matters of high tension so that it doesn't have to be the focus like if like you know if they're in like a high speed chase or they're trying to like 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 um fighting off against like an alien, alien or something, he'd be like, "I'm a time lord, two hearts, let's go." And then you know the the, the scene moves on, and then the, the companion doesn't really get the chance to question it much later. So, but with this one, I think you know, I think we did. I think I think it, it's fair enough to say that you know, like the the, the companions themselves, they did get a whole season to try to to get to know the Doctor as a traveler. Like you know, she's this person who has this massive fantastical machine that can go anywhere and anyone you want um she can take you anywhere and anyone um and so she they, 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 they've gotten to know her in the sense that she's a traveler but who she is as a person is something that's always been up to question and that is definitely a question that they want answered so she definitely opened up to them in that sense 
told them she's from Gallifrey, she's a time lord, travels through time. Um, and of course, the first question being from Yaz, like, um, can they can they visit her home planet? Um, directly after receiving such news that Gallifrey is gone isn't really the best time to receive that question. So, yeah. Um, but I can only assume that, you know, we're going to um, be like seeing more 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 of what like Gallifrey's history was like through the eyes of uh, of this particular doctor and seeing what the time of child stuff is like and how that went down so it'll be interesting to see it'll be interesting to see and we 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 got yet another kind of um like story in in intertwined kind of um look at like two historical figures one of them being Ada Lovelace a pioneer in the history of computers and also Noor Inayat Khan um the British spy in uh, in World War Two, so uh, that was uh, also cool to see. I think that one was much less kind of big as the um, as the Rosa Parks one last episode. That was very very big, um, but this one I think it's like it was a way to like introduce these two historical figures, but also kind of use them to help further the story, which I think is it, it, it is a nice enough kind of um, way to actually pull them in and actually have them stick around um in a, in a good way and then you know send them on their way again so and she she, she even had to um wipe their minds of, of of her presence so yeah um but that is pretty much all i have from episode two so just waiting for episode three to start on the live stream um but yeah that's pretty much all i have so i'll see you guys when the episode starts a moment to explore and I'll come and find you if they're ready. This has midnight written all over it. This episode has midnight written all over it. This place has got everything. Oh, he's waiting to pop the question. Yes. Has he been waiting 46 years just to pop the question? First you get the wiggly fingers, which is a warning the legs are about to go. Oh, Jesus. She has hopper first aid training. Wowza! Until the hallucinations stop, and remember, they're not real bats. The hallucinations? <laughs> You're seeing bats. <laughs> My pilot, surgeon, pilot, surgeon. I'm a pilot. Surgeon. Surgeon. Pilot. Surgeon. Pilot. Surgeon. Pilot. Surgeon. Oh, the lights are out. It's not a good sign. Yikes! Whoa! Okay, yeah, that's a monster, all right? That's a definite monster. Wait, could he be infected? Could he be infected and he's hallucinating? I'm willing to bet it. I'm willing to bet it. Jay? From between us? Okay, definitely not, definitely not on a hallucination then, if the system itself is recognizing it. If I had crayons and half a can of spam, I could build you from scratch. Now, out of my way. Crayons and half a can of spam. Oh, what are you? What are you? Okay, so restarting the ionic membrane thingy. Or building one from scratch and activating it. Great. Can you show me Ryan? Where's Ryan on there? I'm so sorry. No. No, he can't be dead. Him and oh, Yes. I can't see Benny on there either. Where's Benny? God damn it. Graham. Yeah, he's still alive. Yeah. Oh, and she's still alive too. It ain't the aliens that are gonna kill me, it's worrying about you. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Yeah, someone definitely had the system. The hotel is and the pool. But you reach a certain point. Oh, and it's like a shield. Yeah, okay. These are usually built in cities, so no one has to travel. The native species want you and your guests dead. Doctor, you need to see this. Ah. Uh, so this isn't even their territory. It's not even their world, and they're just doing whatever they want. Or from 55. You want a vacation on an orphan planet? Are you mad? An the orphan planet? Stopped. It's safe until it's built. What's an orphan it's planet? Wait, does it literally have no other siblings or...? Is the property of Tranquility Spa. I feel like I'm, I might be taking it too literally, but then again, it's called Orphan 55. It's an orphan planet, so I don't really... Wowza! So this is the outside of the hotel. 
is an orphan planet. It's degrading that means it's become too toxic for life. Ah. We're not safe out here. A dreg is a native species that somehow lived through the fallout. Last generations, there must be a few of them. Hmm. Hyphen with a three, your face tells me I'm right. Yeah. <laughs> how did they survive? Yeah. He's talking out loud, gets her the answers. With the yeah. next modulator. How long have you been unemployed? Is that the worst chat up line ever? Smooth, man. We all smooth. Yeah. Uh, uh, we both have dead parents. Oh, jeez. Yep, even, even the car couldn't hear that much. You got the dead parents, that's it. Wowza. Okay. Is he gonna propose now? Really, you would propose in the middle of this? Really? That that sounded like a trap altogether. That sounded like a trap altogether. Come on, hyphen, come on. Oh, d oh. Did it just eat her? I don't know if it's just me. I feel like the, this is just a really weird episode to watch. Like the pacing seems all off. Yeah. Either that or time just running by really, really quickly. Never came to any of my birthdays. She didn't come to his funeral. And she doesn't even recognize me now. It's Kane! Trixabel. Oh. Trixabel. 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 Looks like a mind. fucking fairy. Oh, damn. Okay, so they made it to the teleport. And everyone else is running. Great. To burn this place down, and if you're not with me, you'll die here too. Well, that's a very healthy approach to have. You don't get to judge me. I don't think you get to judge anyone. Tranquility Spa. I was only doing it to gift her. Maybe you should have mentioned that before you pulled a gun on her. Hmm. And of course, that always makes sense. You know, spending okay, very little time with your children just so that you can give something to your children. Is that a Russian? What does it mean? Novosibirsk. Novosibirsk. No underground station. Wait, this is Earth? This is Earth. Orphan 55 is Earth? It's Earth? Wait. Are they humans? They adapted to all the nuclear shit that went down. Are they humans? Oh god damn it. Vilma. Which one of you my Oh god damn it. None of that was gonna end well. None of it was gonna end well. Is she able to refill her stuff from dregs? So they give out oxygen. Great. Oh yeah, war, destruction. That's what I was afraid of. They're humans. They are humans. And they're killing the doctor. Oh crap. Why is everyone playing the self-sacrificial card right now? How did Earth end up like this? Good warnings from every scientist alive. Global warming, huh? Climate change. Uh. Yeah. I assume climate change also plays into that cycle somehow, huh? You know, you ignore all the signs and the earth just burns away. I'll be honest, all I've got is a letter P, but sometimes. <laughs> just need those other three letters, huh? Oh, damn. You need carbon dioxide to convert into oxygen so you can breathe. We need oxygen to make carbon dioxide. Right now, we've got a Ah, yeah, they're, 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 they're system, transferring the two. Yeah. And you die too. Yeah, huh? Sorry, this Damn, is that, that is actually an ingenious trap. Mm -hmm. Step back. Limit the sources. Limit the actual sources. Door. How would the humans mutate into that? That looks so much more alien than human. Like you'd expect a human to still look like a zombie or something. Okay, alright, there we go, there we go, there we go. 
Oh, shit. Whoa, there it goes. There it goes, yeah, huh? Oh, damn. Bella sacrificing herself? What is it with self sacrifices in this episode? Kane? She survived. Okay. That's a good sign. Mother and daughter reunite. <laughs> oh, that's gonna be there. That's gonna be there always. Just a little bit of a thumb suck. And they're back in the TARDIS. Okay, the autosave worked. The autosave worked. Unless mm. people face facts and change, catastrophe is coming. But it's not decided. Mm hmm. You know that. You don't want that? Start cleaning up your shit. Of... People can save planets or wreck them. That's mm -hmm. the choice. Yep. Be the best of humanity. I like the route they went with this. I like the route they went with this. Or become this. Do you want dregs? Because this is how you get dregs. This is how you get dregs. Okay, that is the end of the episode. So, mm, okay, so, personally, right, I think the episode had some issues in the beginning, um, or at least th throughout, like, the first two acts, I'd say, in terms of pacing, it just felt really off, I think, you know, it started off with them kind of getting, like, like g g getting launched into this, um, into this kind of seemingly intergalactic, um, like, vacation hotel resort place, um, and then almost immediately, um, thingy Ryan gets hit with the, the hopper virus, and, like, I think, yeah, I think the time between them actually starting the episode and Ryan getting the hopper virus seemed really short, and I think, on the one hand, I think it, I mean, it could be, um, because, again, like I said, I'm using a new camera now, so with this one, it's, like, you know, a bit, bit of a tangent here, so just bear with me, with this one, it's, um, you know, the way I actually watched the episode is different now because the camera that I used to use had a recording limit. So I had to actually stop and restart the recording at set times. And, you know, for the most part, that would kind of take me out of the episode because I, you know, I'd, I'd have like a timer running and then, you know, I'd have to keep checking my timer to see how much I had recorded and then stop the recording and then restart it again and sync everything up. Um, but with this one, I can record for as long as I want with little to no kind of restraints or any of that kind of stuff so i think with this one this is the first time in a while i'm actually able to watch something without having to worry about time and actually focus on it so it definitely feels different that way um so th i think it may maybe could have could have just been that. this is actually one of the first like few things i'm actually watching where i can actually be in the episode and think more of my mind is in the episode um so that might so that might be why the the, 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 the that might be one of the reasons why the, the reaction itself might seem a little kind of like you know distant like faint or something but yeah i mean with this one it it, it just see it did this without a doubt definitely had heavy kind of villain of the week um like um like tones to it like did this this did not tie into the main story at all it was just a way to kind of you know look at the other side of things and look look look, look, look at things in like like a mixture of real world and sci-fi kind of like through through that kind of lens um so it, it, it was definitely different in that sense it's like a nice break from what we started off with and now it's just you know showing us what the, what, what the doctor and co are up to and stuff like that so in that sense it's very uh it, it, it was a very nice watch um going into it, i definitely had that kind of uh, that kind of feel like this, this has midnight written all over it. this has midnight written all over it. like the, the, i mean this time we had the doctor and the companions but you know it's like the doctor goes to some kind of fancy vacation resort style place or like the like the, the 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 doctor goes on some kind of vacation. Um, last time that happened, we, last time that happened, like from what I remember, of the last time that happened, we had midnight, which was advertised as this, you know, like um this kind of train or plane thing that you could like open the window, well, kind of open the windows and see like the see the diamond sky and the diamond city and the diamond sun or everything was made of diamonds or some some shit like that. Um, but then there was something on the outside and stuff starts to go wrong and you know the companions i mean midnight are unarguably one of the one of the best kind of horror styled like like horror sci-fi episodes um that the show has ever done but with this one i think it, in that sense like you know the, the doctor goes on a vacation and then the vacation starts to go wrong in that sense it it, it felt very midnighty um 
but um but yeah i think the the tranquility spa was the hotel um that they built it on and so so um yeah i think plot twist wise so we had two plot twists one of them being orphan 55 being earth and i'll get to that one soon i'll get to that one soon but then we had kane Cain is Bella's mother. That one, I feel like that came out of nowhere. I feel like that one came out of nowhere because I don't, I don't know. It it just felt like they it felt like they they threw it in just for the hell of it. Like you know, like it's definitely not something I saw coming. I mean, it wasn't until she actually started to mention like, oh, her mother never came to any of her birthdays and she never came to to visit her and her dad, and she definitely doesn't recognize her now. It wasn't even up until that. It wasn't even up until that point that I, that I even considered that you know, oh, Cain could be her mother because like you know. It's like, up until then, she, like, it's like, you know, she doesn't even show much, like, I mean, she doesn't really even acknowledge her as any kind, as anyone she might know. Like, it's not even up until then that she she even acknowledges Kane in, in any way that she actually might know her. Um, so then it seems like, it, it, it feels like that just kind of, that, that reveal just kind of falls flat. Like, up until that split second, she's like, you know, oh, this person is my mother and she doesn't even know me. And it's like... Well, you literally only mentioned that now, and on on the one hand, I think I think I think because she emphasized that line particularly, like particularly, like you know, oh, and now she she's standing in front of me and she doesn't even recognize me. I mean, I guess that would mean that you know it it kind of emphasizes how how distant and ignorant her mother was in her own life. That you know now, like in you know, like like all these years, and she you know probably doesn't even like remember what her daughter looks like. So it goes to emphasize how distant and cold of a mother Kane actually was towards um towards Bella. But yeah, I think. Overall, that 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 review, I, I feel like it, it it just it just came too far out of nowhere. I think I think I think it would have been more believable had you know had um you know I mean had uh, had Bella shown some kind of disdain towards her from the start, like if she'd actually kind of like been like I don't know why my lights flickering. Um, had she been you know like had she been kind of like condescending towards her or kind of you know shooting down everything she said or just 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 giving her that kind of like um g- giving her that kind of like um retaliation treatment or something like so, so something to show that you know she holds disdain to or towards her beyond just what the average person might have and then her being like you know like why are you hating on me why are you like like why are you why are you treating me like this and you don't even know me and then she's like you know wow and my mom's standing in front of me right now and she doesn't even recognize me i feel like i feel like it, it might have worked better in that sense but um, I don't know, for me personally just, just seeing that review it just felt way too out of out of nowhere and then and then of course we have the self-sacrifice scene later on and then she actually comes back and she's alive and then mother and daughter reunited so yeah fun times fun times but benny definitely died but benny <laughs> what was with that proposal what was with that proposal what what, what was that i mean because uh, i am I mean, we 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 never even saw Benny during that scene. So I don't I don't know if this is some kind of like thing where maybe maybe the Drakes could like somehow mimic humans or mimic their abilities, or if it's like some Wendigo stuff, like you know they they they, they eat human flesh and maintain their 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 their, their, their figure and their, their 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 outward appearance and stuff, and but 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 they can also since they're humans, since they were formerly humans, they can maybe like you know. Um, Oh, I guess in in a horror sense that 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 would make sense then. Yeah, in a horror sense, sense that would make sense. Like, the, I mean, in this one, it's, it's it's far more sci-fi, like in the sense that they actually um adapt to their environment. But then with, with this, that maybe maybe they do eat the humans. Um, triple chances are that actually because they they, they, they they look like very carnivorous kind of beings with their massive teeth and stuff. Not discriminating. Uh, um, but I mean, I think they, they they likely tore Vilma herself apart, so they they very likely ate Benny. Um, and then whichever one it was that ate his voice box or whichever one whichever one it was that consumed the most of him um was able to actually mimic his voice and maybe his memories too and like remember remembering the fact that he wanted to propose but yeah i think if it even was benny in that one like right before me maybe, maybe right before they ate him that that that, that would have just been really out, out out of like place like you know they're stranded in the middle of a toxic environment they're about to die the drugs are surrounding the 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 the, the, the entire van um, or car or whatever the hell it was, um, and then he's like, you know, I've just got two questions. Do you will, will you marry me? Like, and then her just immediately just jumping into a yes. Yeah, I mean, I don't know that that proposal scene just felt weird and misplaced as all hell. Like, you know, even if it was him, 
surely he would understand the actual tension. I mean, on I mean again, on the one hand, I feel like you know, oh, this is a life and death situation, so he wouldn't he would want to get all regrets out of the way, so he would regret not asking her. But at the same time, like. I don't know. Maybe, maybe that's something I'm looking into too much. It, it just felt misplaced. But more than anything, that that Kane, like that 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 mother daughter reveal thing, felt out of like 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 uh, just just like out of place. Um, not, or just like just just kind of like I mean, you know, I mean. Afterwards, I think I think she she even she even used the excuse like you know oh I built all of this for her so like you're using that excuse of you know oh I I I, I was so distant and absent in her adolescence and her growing up because i was too busy building all of this stuff for her. so I'll be, I'll be absent now only to try and make up for it later when she's a fully grown woman matured and like you know has an understanding of how the world works and you know has a clear out has a clear outlook on what her life was like before um you know give her enough time to actually grow some grow some kind of resentment towards me and then i'll give her this um and stuff so yeah i mean because i mean she she she, she lost her father and part, partially uh, like so it's safe enough to assume that you know it's partially because her mother wasn't around to help her, so she was the sole carer of her father. Um, and then even after that, her mother like I mean even before that, like her mother doesn't even show up once. But you know she's too busy, you know, doing all of this stuff with the the tranquility spa and everything. Um, but yeah, so that was that. Um, so the dregs and orphan fifty five. So yeah, I think. <laughs> Um, when, when, when we saw that train station, uh, sign, the, no, the, was it, the, 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 the Novosibirst, the, 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 the Novosibirst, I don't know, I kind of wrote that in a Russian, or, 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 or I can, um, not in Russian, I, I wrote that in a rush, um, or I can really pronounce it, the, the, the Novosi, the, 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 the Novosibirst or something, it's a Siberian underground train station, so the doctor recognized that sound and think, you know, for a split second, I was like, "Wait, so we're on a Siberian planet?" But no, 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 it's it's not that out otherworldly. It, 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 this is actually Earth. Um, but the doctor said it was just before they. I mean, that was when Yasmin and 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 uh, and, Gra um, and Graham found out. So the doctor said it was just before that that she realized. So I'm I'm, I'm wondering what, what what the giveaway was for her that that it was actually still Earth. And I mean, to me, from that standpoint, it seemed logical that you know, if this is Earth. And clearly, what happened to this one? I mean, because before she knew it was Earth, she knew it was an orphan planet, um, because it was called Orphan Fifty Five. So it being an orphan planet, the, the orphan planet def definition being you know something that you know becomes too toxic for life. Um, so you know, like g g given that, like you know, like I I I figured you know, okay, so clearly this one actually maybe used to have life, but then it actually became too toxic for it for whatever reason. So that means the inhabitants must have changed somehow too. Um, so then. You know, it's um, it's it's illogical for, for 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 the dregs to in fact to be changed humans in in some way, um, in, instead of like I mean, I mean, I, I guess another another cause would be other like like aliens like the dregs being aliens from another world that invaded Earth and brought a virus along with them that, that changed their planet. I mean, maybe like the, the the dregs could have been like people who lost their their, their own home world due to whatever reason, and then they they, they brought you know, a terraforming engine or something to, to Earth to try and make that theirs and then, you know, took out the humans along with it. But no, no. Orphan 55 Earth is the result of, um, well, Yasmin explained it, climate change, but, you know, um, or global warming, climate change, uh, but even the, even the, the doctor said, you know, it's war, mass migration, global warming, all that stuff, you know, the, the, the way humans are treating the planet now um, is what leads into Earth becoming this kind of toxic wasteland with mutated humans. They're, they're the humans, the ones who are able to survive for whatever reason, they're, they're the ones who are strong enough to survive. Um, they, they mutate into dregs and they become very angry trees. I think, I think that, like, the system that the, 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 the dregs run by in the future is pretty much the kind of, like, the, the, the reversal of humans. Like, they, they, they breathe, um, they breathe in, the, I mean, the dregs breathe in um, uh, carbon dioxide, and then they, they actually breathe out. So they they work the way the trees would. So like it, it's kind of like like as the mutation has gone along, their kind of respiratory system has kind of done done like a like a U turn, pretty much, and like reversed how they work. So like they're they're, they're kind of they, I think how um how how would that work? Though? I mean. Are there still trees around? Because like they'd have to be getting the the carbon dioxide from somewhere, right? 
and on, on a planet that toxic where the oxygen level is that low and they can't they they they, they, they don't breathe it and they can't breathe the oxygen in because that weakens them and then the more of them there are the more like um CO2 is actually being taken out of the world so, I mean are, are there still trees around or when well, a tree still create oxygen what am I thinking no, but yeah I mean well like or I think maybe because oh the toxicity of the, the, the toxicity of the world increased so then yeah the ozone layer so I think maybe the, like um the, the CO2 levels in the ozone layer would would, would, would somehow like change with that as well maybe that would be um increased so then there's actually more for them to to to, to breathe in and then they're, they're pushing more oxygen out so I don't know. Maybe something happens, but they mutated. They mutated. The world also mutated. That that much is um it, it is clear. And I think yeah, I think this this episode it it, it I think I I know there are going to be people. But I mean, some people, not not everyone. There's some people, maybe perhaps like a vocal minority, but people saying you know oh like Doctor Who's become too political now. Now it's telling me to change what I do and actually try and save my fucking planet. Um, there 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 are there are people who feel that way towards episodes and stories like this where it actually encourages you to start giving a shit about, about the world around you and the people around you um and the people people complain that you know oh, it's becoming too pc but i mean you know th thinking about it realistically this literally is just like a wake-up call for everyone and i think they, 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 they executed it pretty well like actually you know showing people hey the world's on fire and, unle and unless you pull your pull yourself pull yourselves together and actually get something done about it it's gonna get worse and it's only gonna get worse and you know like no, nothing is really gonna be fixed and you know things are gonna get bad i mean it we 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 probably probably won't mutate into some kind of alien species or whatever but at the same time things are gonna get really bad um and you know, like years and years and years down the line like however long it takes years and years down the line at some point some generation is gonna be stuck with the mistakes of our uh, 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 like caused by our decisions and our choices and everything, and our ignorance as well. Um, because the doctor even said it's like you know, like year, like years of just not listening to facts presented to you actually caused this. Um, so I think in in that sense, I think you know, like Doctor Who has has often been used as a teaching tool, both both like morally and also kind of like scientifically as well. Like more more morally, it it it, it, it I, I'd like to think it's taken chances where it's been given them taking opportunities where it's been given them to actually teach people about like the, the the right choice to make and what a good person would do and also in this particular case um in cases like in episodes like this actually showing people you know what like you know like the consequences of your actions and what it means for the world around you and the people around you um so in that sense i think it actually works well as an episode and then you know i think so I mean, Kane's plan so like re-terraform the Earth. So I mean, because I think that that would essentially, in some way, be re-terraforming it, right? Because I mean, it started off as this bubbly, lively, you know, in like habitable kind of planet, bumbling with oxygen and supporting life, and then because of global warming and everything else that happened, it you know went down the rabbit hole into a shit storm of toxicity. Um, so then her plan, like, to create, to start off with a hotel that's, like, inside a dome that supports life, and then to spread that out into the, into the world. So her plan w w would have essentially been to just kind of re, like, rebuild what the Earth once was. So would that count as re-terraforming, maybe, or... Because, I mean, because the planet started out with, 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 an, with a, ha as a habitable environment for life, and then did a complete table turn, did a complete flip, and then they're trying to build that back up again. So would that would that technically be re-terraforming? I don't know. Or maybe or maybe that would just be terraforming because I think you know it was basically just you know the planet just started off being habitable for different stages and different like cycles and different forms of life, and you know that eventually evolved. Um, um, so then yes, yeah, so it, it started off with the means for life, and then you know that was abused heavily, and then it you know, stopped being so um, kind towards the life. And then now humans themselves or like su su surviving humans like Cain, the ones who haven't mutated, the ones who've managed to survive still as themselves, um, has been, uh, have, have, uh, 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 were, were trying, I mean, Cain and Vorm, I think his name was, Cain and Vorm, they were the only ones we saw. And Benny and, and, and Vilma as well. And Navi and Nevi and, and, and Silas. And... Bella, yeah, they 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 were pretty much the only ones we saw. So like, 
they can't surely, surely they're not the, they're not the only surviving humans on on earth i don't know but maybe but i think most of all yeah they, 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 i think they 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 they, 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 they definitely use this episode as a, as a good way to actually not only make it like like just like a, like a monster of the week episode but also using that like 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 using a monster of the week episode to actually pass on a good message to the, to the viewers and to, to the rest of the world watching um and to actually just 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 kind of help raise awareness in a way that sure so th- th- there are going to be people play like um saying that they're going to stop watching Doctor Who because it's now getting too PC and to be honest when most of these kinds of topics come up it it, it is from people who just kind of you know claim to not care enough to watch anymore claim that this is the one thing that could stop them from progressing any further throughout the series throughout the season on the show and the people who claim that you know oh they they they, they use this as an, as an escape and sure it can be providing an escape but you know like it's important for them to still, you know, if they can, then to, to to still take the time to raise awareness about such topics and actually stuff that's like still going on. I mean, do I need to mention Australia? Do I really need to mention Australia? I, I don't really think I do. I think I think I think very many people know about it. A lot of people are raising awareness for it and actually, you know, like do, do, doing their job. You know, Australia. What's going on? on uh, uh, what's going on in Australia right now is a very very you know big red flag as to you know, the, the, the situation that the planet is in right now. So, yeah, um, but I think it, it, that, that was like, like, like I think it, it was a good way to kind of, you know, like delve into that topic, but also like maintain that kind of, you know, like, um, all of it, like, again, like it, it, it was a good way to, for them to kind of like stick to the, to, to the sci-fi side of the show, showing that, you know, if people don't listen now, then years from now, we likely won't make, mutate into, you know, dregs and all the stuff on happen, but the, the earth will still become, very very un- unstable as a planet and things will go bad things will definitely go very very bad and you know a lot of people aren't really prepared or willing to listen until it's too late and then and, and, and then and then they'll and, and then they'll they'll start trying to look for a solution and apologizing and all that sort of stuff but you know the sooner you listen the better the sooner you listen the better so yeah um but that's uh pretty much all i have for all from i think that, i think i think that was a cool twist as well I think even as a twist, that 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 just works really well. Like in Orphan Fifty Five, is it's, it's not just any planet; it's actually Earth. Um, yeah, I think I think seeing the Russian like really re- re- really got my 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 brain ticking on that. Like you know, like um seeing like a Russian like 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 I mean seeing like a sign, the language itself looked like Russian. I was like, wait, Russian's an Earth language, and then the doctor saying, you know, oh, this is a Siberian underground train station. I was like, Siberia, that's a place on Earth wait this is earth like it was it was essentially like a well kind of built up and well executed twist i think and then it honestly like led, led on to more revelations and whatnot so yeah um but i think overall this this what this really was just like um a cool way to actually pull off a villain of the week episode i think that they they they, 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 they went down a, a, a good um a, a, a good path with uh, the orphan 55 stuff and yeah, it was just an enjoyable episode. I think, I think, I think, I think the beginning was a little bit weird again with with with, with the pacing. I think maybe that's just me. I think maybe it just felt to me like time was running a bit too fast. And maybe it's just because I'm I'm recording in a new way now, so it's the, 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 that's going to take some getting used to again. Like having more freedom to actually record with my mind open and focused on what I'm actually watching is a bit different too. But uh, besides from that, it was I think it was it was an enjoyable episode. Um, confusing at times because of like the the big because of the pacing how how fast things seem to be running. Um, that 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 I think I'd, I'd say I'd say after the second act they actually started to feel like it. This is an hour long episode. I think uh, like like throughout the first act I was like this is all running really really quickly. Like one minute it's the vacation thingy and then the next minute Ryan's infected and the next minute the shields are down and it's a drill and all that sort of stuff. And then afterwards the intensity picks up, the drama picks up, and then we find out more about what the hell actually is going on here um so yeah i think so i mean bella was the one who infected the thing right who because i think um came to someone like someone actually sabotaged the hotel system um to let the hopper virus in and let that and and and, and let the, the 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 dregs in i was not calling them drugs um the dregs in so i mean i feel like that would have been I mean, like she, she, she would have known that Kane was was in some way involved with Tranquility Spiral, like some some way like behind it. So like a way to sabotage her or try a way to 
get back at her for years of built up family resentment and drama. So I feel like she she was definitely. I mean, she was there to blow up the place anyway. Well, I would not put it past her to not. I mean, I think. I mean, because then that raises the question of whether or not she was actually infected in the first place when she met Ryan, or whether she was just pretending so she wouldn't be like an obvious suspect. But, um, but I mean, she was there to blow up the place anyway. That was her plan. Um, so I, I mean, it, it's, I, I, I don't really think anyone could really put it past her to actually, you know, be sabotaging the system too and letting the dregs in. And that would provide her with a good enough distraction as well, like have have the dregs in so she can bring the bombs in through through the, through the side or whatever, and then just blow everything sky high. So. <clears throat> so yeah, I mean, um, yeah, that's pretty much all I have uh, for this particular episode. I think are there any places like that on in, in like in in like on, on Earth now, like in in the world, like not like orphan, not not like tranquility spa, but like places like that, like where they actually build like that kind of dome. I, I could I could have sworn I've seen pictures before, like of like of those kinds of like resorts or places like. I don't know if they're resorts, but I think I've seen pictures of places like that, like, you know, they look like this kind of dark and, like, um, secluded dome from the outside, but when you're on the inside, it actually has that background of, like, a nice sky and whatever, like, I think it's all, I've, I've seen places like that before. Yeah, I don't know if, I don't know if it's a resort, but I, 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 I swear I've seen places like that before, like, where it, is, it, looks, it, lo it looks like it did for um, Tranquility Spa on the outside, like I said, just a dark dome, and then on the inside, they actually have the the appearance to match the mood and stuff of the place and they actually have like it, it all lit up and everything it looks like the sky and whatnot so i don't know i, I, don't, I don't know if those, if, those, if those kinds of places are actually real or not but i'm curious um but yeah that's pretty much all i have uh for this episode again not really anything too special or anything too dramatic just a, just, just like a, a villain of the week episode done well and like you know seized by a very good opportunity um so it, it was cool to see that and cool to see that ending so hopefully this does kind of serve its educational purpose as well as its kind of entertainment purposes too it's, it's i think i think it, it's better it, 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 it's it's it, it's it's equally good when 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 a movie or a tv show or whatever can do that like when when it can actually serve an entertainment purpose and an educational purpose i think too i think, I think too many people kind of like you know like hold on or like grasp on to that kind of you know like um escape from reality thing as, as a way to avoid having to deal with the real world instead of actually you know appreciating the value that can come from being you know taught something by entertainment but i don't know maybe that's just me but i mean i mean i i, I don't blame people who do exclusively seek out entertainment for like um for it, like um escapism purposes but at the same time it's like you know when dire situations come up people need to be aware of the uh, of said dire situation so yeah but um that's pretty much all i have from this one so great episode looking forward to next week's one uh but yeah that was doctor who season 12 episode 3 titled orphan 55 uh so thank you guys so much for watching this video if you guys enjoyed it then salt and burn that like button uh comment on what you, on what you, well, comment on what you thought of the episode and what you think is coming up uh, next in the series and yeah that's it so I will see you guys next time.